Hey guys, welcome back. I have something really cool to bring you today. It's actually my first video collab that I'm doing and it's with Rue from Exoprism Beauty. We are going to be collabing on the Notoriously Morbid Sealy slash Unsealy collection. It's the... It was the spring collection released a few months ago, but yeah, we are going to be collabing on that. Uh, I'm doing the Sealy side. That consists of four shadows and a highlighter. She is doing the unsealy side. So yeah, it will be interesting to see the different looks because all those colors are darker and the sealy side is a lot lighter. Now I'm not used to doing light colors. Well, I am, but I always have to, you know, use darker colors to define and stuff. So yes, this is what I came up with for that. I think it's it's super pretty. I really love Fight for Beauty. I love all the colors, actually. They're all amazing. Even the Unsealy colors are amazing. But I love everything that Notoriously Morbid makes. Like, everything. Literally. So, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and get started on the swatches and the descriptions of the shadows. Alright, this one is Fight for Beauty. It is an arctic blue with an intense, ma intense magenta shift. Because I can talk today, I swear. <laughs> There's the swatch for that. I'm going to do one on the bottom part. It's going to be over like... I just put my, my makeup wipe. God, I really can't talk today to make it wet so that's what it would look like foiled you can really see that magenta shift like no other unfortunately none of these shadows on the sealy side are lip safe which kind of blows but what are you gonna do uh, next color is glorious honor It's a soft lavender with a green shift and lots of pink and purple sparkles. There's that one. Let me do it wet. There we go. Super pretty. All the shifts in these are amazing. Okay, next color we have is Love Rains. It is a salmon pink with a cool blue sheen. Super pretty too. Trying to do a dry swatch. There we go. Okay, the top one is the dry. This one is the foiled ish. I don't know if you can see that. It looks green to me, but it's blue. It's blue, I swear. It kind of makes it look purple when the two colors are mixed. It looks like it's a purple shift. Well, I kind of do. I don't know. I don't freaking know. All I know is that it's amazing <laughs> and beautiful. Okay, next color is Pay What Is Owed. It is a pale chartreuse with lots of blue sparkle. And I totally don't see... Okay, that's crazy. If I look at it this way, it's blue sparkle. But if I look at it this way, it's pink sparkle. So, I don't know. I don't know which color it is. All I know is that it's pretty. Okay, wet and dry swatch. Top 
top one is dry, bottom one is wet. I know you're not going to be able to see the sparkles, but they are there, and there's lots of them. Not as many as there are in Fight for Beauty, but they, there's a lot. Okay, next is the Power of the Fae highlighter. It's on the Sealy side. It is an Accru White with Golden Shimmer. And if you get the Notoriously Morbid Vanishing Cabinet monthly and you got... You've got the, um, God's Be Good collection, yeah. then you got this highlighter. They, it was just so popular that they made it permanent and renamed it. That's what it looks like blended out. So pretty. It's perfect. And that's pretty much it for the Sealy side collection. So, um, on to the tutorial if you are interested in how I got this look. And just keep watching. Alright, first things first, always start off with the primer. And I'm going to be going into Fight for Beauty first. And then I'm gonna take, first I'm gonna do shadow bind all over my lid. Just apply that and then blend it in with your finger. Then on a flat, stiff concealer like brush I'm taking Fight for Beauty and just packing that all over where I applied Shadow Bind. color is like amazing it's so much more intense when you put it over like shadow bind or you foil it the shift in it like intensifies okay next I'm going into glorious honor the lavender shade and I'm gonna take that on a concealer brush and that is going in my crease And this one, it's because it's so light and I'm not using any kind of, like, base or anything. Um, yeah, you're gonna have to do a lot of layering. But, because of that, the shift in it really shows up, like, really well. So, yeah, it looks really, really pretty. Lots of layering. This is really awkward. <laughs> doing voiceovers. I don't know. Okay, now I'm taking Shadow Bind again and just dabbing that in the center of my lower lash line and then using my finger to blend it out or smear it all over the rest of my lower lash line. Then I'm going to be going into Love Reigns. And depending on how 
like heavily you apply shadow bind I didn't apply it very heavily so it was drying really quickly but yeah you're gonna want to work pretty fast if you don't apply like a whole lot but yeah just basically putting that on my lower lash line and kind of blending it up into glorious honor in the outer V area Now I'm taking Pay What Is Owed, the pretty chartreuse color, and that one is going in my inner corner. Just blending that into Love Reigns and Fight for Beauty. Now I'm taking Power of the Fae highlighter. And that is going under my brow for a nice highlight, subtle highlight. Seriously, this is like one of my favorite highlighters ever. Next is liner. I'm taking the Urban Decay 24-7 liquid liner in Siren. And I'm going to be doing a wing. Next up is a 24-7 pencil in LSD, and that's going in my waterline, and I'm tight lining with it too. I totally stabbed myself in the eye with that. It really freaking hurt. <laughs> Always make sure your pencils are sharpened. Now it's time for mascara. I'm using the Kat Von D, I don't know what it's called. I should probably look that up. It's not available anymore, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But yeah, it was my favorite. And now I'm going to have to find a new favorite because they stopped selling it. doing another coat on the other side. That's pretty much it. Alright guys, that's it for the video and tutorial and swatches and all that fun stuff. But um, yeah, you guys should go check out Rue's video. And yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys next time. Alright.